Marty, welcome. It's a real thrill to have you here. I really mean it. Oh, thanks for having me. Great to bring baseball onto the program, too. <laughs> now, Marty, you're not just a historian or an author with a passing interest in the Yankees. Um, you have personal history with the organization. Talk to us about that. Well, I do. I grew up in New York, became a Yankee fan in 1955. Uh, when the Dodgers beat the Yankees in the World Series, and I said, oh, I'm going to root for the underdog. This is terrible. <laughs> so my whole life has been a mistake in that sense because I became <laughs> right. a Yankee fan. Uh, and then I joined the team in 1968. I was hired to answer Mickey Mantle's fan mail. Wow, what which was that like? It had fallen like a couple of years behind, I think. <laughs> what makes the Yankees an empire? Um, I think that goes back to when Jacob Rupert came on the scene as the club owner in 1915, and he thought big, and he made the Yankees into big business. And ever since then, even with some down periods, they've always been an empire. They've always been a team that made the most, spent the most, got the biggest stars to play for them, and uh, as such, kind of elevated the industry along with them. But not from the very beginning, right? No. Oh, for their first 20 years... They struggled. They almost never won. They tried different celebrity managers. Nothing ever worked out. They only came close once in 1904. Really? But from 1903, when they were born, until their first pennant in 1921, uh, there wasn't much there to talk about. Now, the New York Yankees always seem to have the biggest personalities in yeah. baseball. Has that always been the case, or at least since 1915? Well, since they got Babe Ruth in 1920, mm -hmm. It's been star-driven. And they were fortunate, even to this day, that star players, the glamour of the Yankees, still represented by Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle, that is a lure to want to wear the same uniform that those guys wore. Now, as you know, the Yankees are loved or hated, not only in New York City, but around the world. Why that reaction to one American baseball team. Well, I'll tell you the thing about hated. Um, there were always a legion of anti-Yankee fans who literally hated the Yankees' success. And I think that goes with just the natural feeling of hating anyone's success if you don't have it yourself. What's happened in this modern era, though, the current Yankees of Jeter and Rivera, Bernie Williams, Posada, They've made it hard to hate this, the, these guys. Right. These are very likable guys. People still root against them, but the hatred part yeah. is a little yeah. more difficult. How do you think the Yankees have helped shape the image of New York City? Well, New Yorkers like to think of themselves as big time, the best, big business. And the Yankees in the world of sports have represented that throughout, throughout the founding of the team but especially after Babe Ruth came to New York. The history of the Yankees is well tied to the development of the subway system, to uh, the power brokers that came through New York and were somehow connected to the Yankees. So uh, I think it does New York pride well to have this as the representative team, which is internationally known. You see people all over the world with those Yankee caps. Right. Well, well Marty, thank you so much. It's been a real thrill. Thanks, Raphael. Thank you.